Hello, welcome back to another building video. Look, look, uh, I think this is gonna be the start of us both uh, working in the bus. So that's gonna be cool. Um, we're gonna be doing some separate missions, so we are filming, you know, separate videos. I think, Jaylena, what are you doing? I am doing a tiny bit more insulation, and then we are paneling the walls. See all that? It's gonna get walled up, bruh. And then uh, I'm, I, I talked about it in the last video where I was, I didn't order any of the material yet. So I was just kind of using stuff that was laying around the shop. And I put some smaller wire where I should probably have bigger wire. And then I made the $7,000 Amazon order that I've been putting off because it's $7,000 um, and ordered everything. And I... I've decided I'm gonna pull that wire out. I'm gonna put the, the bigger, the, the wire I should be putting in here, in here before it gets covered with the ceiling because there's no going back. So that's my first mission. I'm gonna fix the wires um, and then I'm gonna work on the front and back caps. Uh, so there's a little bit of two by two in left. We gotta get the front and back caps up and then I need to put some two by two where all the shiplap is gonna be going and then we'll once I'm done with that mission, we'll see where Jaylena's at and I'll either help her finish paneling and maybe we'll hop into the roof or we'll just kind of see where it goes. So that's the mission for the day. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> so I ran all the wire that's going in the ceiling and then I cleaned it all up and kind of retacked it up where I want it. So I think I'm going to start the ceiling at this line right here and then figure out a way to kind of cover that. But that's a problem for another day. And then if you look over here, Jaylena got one whole wall done so this is what the walls look like and then she got cedar up on there and that's what it looks like there and then we're gonna caulk all the cracks and seams and then put the ceiling up and then the whole interior will get a nice fresh coat of white it's a long day I don't know how much I really filmed today Jaylena and I were both just pushing hard. Um, and we ran, so I never did finish the, the roof paint, right? I ran out of paint, it needs one more coat. We sent Levi to town to go get some more uh, Henry's to put on the roof. I'm gonna do, as soon as he shows up, it's late, it's dark, I'm gonna put one more coat on so it can dry overnight because it takes that long to dry. And we're running out of cedar. So. We got one wall done and we dang near used up all our cedar. So we sent Levi for five more packs and that should be enough to uh, do what we need to do. So today was a long day. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a recap. We'll see you guys tomorrow.
Hello everyone, this is Isaac from A Bus Life Story and sleep to me is really important probably like a lot of you guys and I wanted to talk to you guys today about the mattress that I use. Now having a good mattress in your vehicle is a big deal. It's really going to affect your experience living van life or bus life or just living in general. If you have an uncomfortable mattress, life is going to suck. You have a comfortable mattress, life is gravy. So I would like to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video and we're going to get into the mattress that I'm putting in my rig. RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. One of the cool things about their website is you can get all kinds of different mattresses, all kinds of different sizes, custom sizes, different heights, different things. Now the reason that's really important is because sometimes these rigs are all different, you know? Like this old school bus wasn't necessarily made to be a house, right? So they might be wider, shorter, whatever. The build out of whatever you're doing might determine what I'm getting at basically is you might not be able to use a standard size mattress and then being able to get one custom fit to your build is a big deal. Brooklyn Bedding is known for high quality mattresses in the RV world and they are some of the top quality stuff. The mattress that I'm sitting on is the Dream Foam Essential and this is 53 by 75 and I have the 8 inch thick version. I personally don't like my mattresses too thick uh, because then I have to build the bed frame down lower which takes away from my storage. I personally like the 8 inch thick stuff and I got the Dream Foam Essential full just because that's the one I picked. I have had this mattress in here for quite some time. We've slept on it. It's great. One of the things that I really like is it's not white on top. A lot of y'all who have had like white mattresses before, sometimes they get stained. I, I kind of like that, that this isn't like that. Just helps keep it clean a little bit and I like it. You might be asking yourself, what if I hate this mattress? Well, RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding gives you a hundred and twenty night trial and you have a 10 year warranty so you got 120 days to figure out if you like this thing or not and for 10 years if something happens to it you get another one kind of a good deal i love rvmattress.com by brooklyn bedding and i think you will too so if you want to grab one of these mattresses you can head to the link below for 20 percent off of your purchase and yeah i hope you guys will dig it Again, RVMattress.com, thank you so much for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to building the bus. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a whole new day. Look, we got the crew out here doing our morning meeting. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, I'd be the first to die in that I think I would too. As soon as my contacts are done, so was I. <laughs> <laughs> so late last night, uh, Levi got back late with that last bit of paint. I got that thrown up there. Looks pretty good, but I mean, I think I might just throw another coat on at the end of the work day because I've got the material and it's masked up and like there's Not never, the never going to be another opportunity to do it. So might as well. Yep. And then there's our lumber. It, uh, that's $2,000 there. It's, I don't know, it's a lot of money in lumber. And it, the roof is leaking, there's water getting on it, and I was just really worried about it. Jaylena talked me into moving it last night. So we moved it into the middle of the bay, and we're hoping we'll have it up in the next few, it looks like it did dry, so. We'll have it up within the next few days, and then I don't gotta worry about it anymore. So, uh, let's go in here and talk about our game plan. Check it out. Okay, so today's game plan, you can see that Jaylena got this side cedared yesterday. So Levi has come out here today and he's going to help Jaylena get that other side up, right? While they're doing that, I'm going to focus on the front and the back caps. I'm going to get insulation up there. I'm going to get the caps up and I'm going to finish framing and getting ready for the roof. So I got to do some two by twos there, some two by twos in the back. And then where the ship lap is going to have a seam, I'm going to have to add another row so I can tack to both sides. So while they're doing the wall, I'm going to work on getting ready for the ceiling. I would love to end the day ready to put the ceiling up 
tomorrow. We'll touch base at the end of the day, see what happens. Well, it looks like uh, who needs a roof raise when you just cut holes in the roof? <laughs> I can finally stand up tall on a bus. <laughs> you got four places. Oh, yeah. Nice. Show them all the places. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. That's all you got to do. Just cut holes in every section, dude. There you go, bro. There you go. <laughs> that's funny. You don't need no roof raise, bro. So now when I just want to stand around, I can do so easily. <laughs> 20 inches of Levi's home right there in that little 20 inch hole. That's where you'll find Levi. <laughs> Most of the time, yeah. That's a skylight. Oh, that's funny. Oh. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. Oh, dude, we gotta get this hose in. Oh, yeah. It is snowing. Um, We're building buses in the winter, bro. We better put that away. Uh-oh, it's time, bro. It's getting too cold it's for a, short. Bro, it's a winter wonderland. I'm gonna have to start turning my pants inside we're building, out. We're building a bus <laughs> in the snow, bro. <laughs> Hello. I just was texting you. Hello. <laughs> Dude, it's a winter wonderland out here. Wow. It's sticking, dude. How'd this thing do in the Good. Snow? It was uh it was pretty crazy until east of Salem and then it dried out, so and then go uh at the bottom of the hill it's completely white. Really? So it's pretty sketch. Uh <laughs> sketch at the bottom coming up the hill i yeah. wasn't sure about these tires bro so as everybody can tell josh is back this is gonna be a big week for this build yeah um because he doesn't even know what we're doing yet but like you're gonna see it start turning into a house by the time he's leaving here so we're excited about that but check that out ladies and gentlemen that is snow whoa we're in the bay, we're about to get cracking. I'm chilling by the heater, drinking a yerb. He's ready to get cracking right now. But, uh, so the few things we have to do is we got a two by two today, we got a half block wool, and the ceiling. I think we'll start the ceiling, but what, what's your prediction? Um, I feel like the two by twos, getting the three ribs finished, getting the half block finished. If we can get that done by like two o'clock today, uh, I feel like we should be able to at least almost have that ceiling lap and up in the bus. 
he thinks we'll get all that done and the ceiling today, I think he's high. <laughs> or he's yerbed out. I don't know. It's gonna happen. Hey, but I guess we'll happen. all see. We did put that whole subfloor in that night. We died yeah. for it. Yeah. But we got her in. It was done. It was done. <laughs> so again, everybody give a major, major, major shout out and love to this guy coming over here. He's literally donating his time, helping us out. Yep. And it's a huge, huge help. So much love to Josh. We're gonna get started. All right, we're going to get today started, get projects finished. Hopefully, uh, let's see what Isaac's up to right now. So let's go figure out where he is. Oh, what are you up to, dude? Well, the heater's right here. Yeah, there's a heater in there. <laughs> Come on this, now. This one's better. You got your yerba mate. I'm out here yerba and swerving, oh, baby. Oh my goodness. Right Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard in the winter, mate. It's, it's only, hard. it's only, it's like, it's only like 32 degrees here. So I mean, it's not that bad. I think it's less than that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So let's uh, let's get it started. Ladies and gentlemen, half the bus is done. Look at that ceiling. Ooh. Looks good. Ooh. Oh, it looks so good. So that's the first time I've done a shiplap ceiling. And I gotta say, I might be about it. Yeah, it looks good. I, I think uh, I'm probably always gonna do a shiplap ceiling from now on. I'm hyped about it, we got half done. I think we're gonna keep pushing to do the rest of it back there. What do you think, bro? Yeah, let's, swing, let's make it happen. All right, so let's get cracking. We gotta get this one cut here for the front, and then we gotta get one out here so we can start. Uh, Want to do the easy one out. first? Get back in the groove. Yeah. So let's get let's get this one okay. started. Indeed, brother. 24-7 full send, bro. <laughs> That's what I do all day. Oh, snap. You know what I'm saying? Y'all mean? I be out here full sending. Everybody's out here crying around, bro. Not me. <laughs> I'm full sending, bro. You know what I'm saying? That looks a little funky. What's going on up there? Oh, there we go. It popped into place, bro. Oh, snap. Oh, man. We got... We a little funky... Thank <laughs> you. 
new one. <laughs> that one's rounded out. What's up? Getting this uh, ship lap done for the front end cap. It's a new day. Let me show you what we're up to. All right, so what we've decided to do is actually ship lap the front and back end cap. So this is ship lap up top. I was just gonna keep it the plywood like this and then paint everything white so that it has a uniform coat um, and then do wood art here and just have an accent. but. I don't know. I mean, look at it already. It's just giving it, giving it a little bit of texture. Um, just making it feel a little cooler. And of course, Josh is just killing it. So that's what he's been working on this morning while I was doing some other stuff. I'm super happy with the decision. And uh, I'm going to drink this yerb. We're going to get this party going. We are done for the day. It was a long day. It's 9.30. And basically, we got the bus ready to be masked and painted tomorrow, so. Yep. We got, if you guys see what happened, we don't need to talk about it. But we just laid in uh, all the body sealer and the floor, seal that up. And then I caulked all the lines there and blah 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 and that way when you paint everything it'll just all come together and match we're hyped we're tired we're gonna start shutting her down we'll be back tomorrow <laughs> good morning it's a new day levi's helping the day let's show you what's going on so we got josh masking and we are going levi still needs a roof raise yeah, and, got uh, worse because he added so much inches to the bus, so now this is smaller than my bus. Bro, we need to get you a little wheelchair. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> uh, so Levi blowing all the dust out one more time. He's oh, yeah. In, he's in a tack cloth on the surfaces. He's masking. The shop is crazy. So I'm going to go make a spot for a paint station right now. Get the gun out. And we're gonna get ready to shoot, baby!
first coat. Dunzo. Uh, definitely like painting two buses at once. <laughs> uh, no joke. Yep. Literally no joke. Well, nine window, you got a four, four window plus a five window. So we, uh, yeah. Yeah. We can take a break, eat some lunch at three. Uh, and that's first coat. <laughs> what up, man? What's up? Heading out. That's what I thought I heard. <laughs> so, we gotta. Talk. All right, man. You guys have a fun trip? Oh, you know. Say it. goodbye to the camera guy. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys uh, hopefully at my house next time. Yeah, bro. Really? the bus is done. Joe, you need a shower, bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty bad. Yeah. You need a shower, bro. Uh, I feel it. It's hey. called my name. All right, yo. Huge shout out to Josh coming through here. It made it such a big difference. We always appreciate you, man. Yeah. For real. So that's going to be it for this video. I know. I'm going to unmask it in the next one. But we got probably another four hours of spraying to do tonight. We're just going to focus on that. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out. Yeah. Uh, make sure you guys give Josh some love in, some co in the comments. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks, man. Yeah. Have a good day, guys. Later. Safety first. Yeah.